Okay, welcome back to the channel, everybody. We are out on the golf course at a beautiful Keswick Golf Club today. Sun is shining, mountains in the background. It's a stunning location. So we're going on the course to test and uh, provide you a little bit of a review on the new Ping Glide Forged Pro Wedge. So new offering, which is launching in coincidence with the new i59 iron some very much the resemblance here so this is something that would very much blend if you're going to go i59 these would sit beautifully in that set, set in terms of your wedges so we're going to talk a lot about the technology we're obviously going to test it on some different lies out on the golf course and we'll see how this wedge performs and possibly if this is something you might want to go and put in your bag right okay so let's just test a couple in and around the green to start off with so this is the 56 degree i've got in my hands and it's the s grind so that standard sort of sole 10 degrees of bounce so for me i always like to have a little bit of bounce on my wedges it just makes it a little bit more forgiving on those slight miss hits those indifferent lies that we we sort of experience on the golf course so a little bit of a fluffy one to start with here so a little bit of grass between that club face and golf ball oh that's come out really well get in oh about a foot take that Next shot I'm playing here is obviously a tighter lie, a little bit close to the flag. So sometimes, you know, a lot of golfers may sort of start buying wedges and going to a really sort of um, a, a low bounce and a low and, and a grind that's very sort of shaved off. So trying to get that leading edge as tight as they can. Maybe if you're playing at a golf course with a lot of tight lies, that could benefit you. The only thing I would say a little bit with that is have a little think about your, your, your sort of angle of attack and how you interact with the ground. If you're a little bit of a golfer that might play the ball back in a stance and get a little bit sort of jabby on it, then that low bounce might be a little bit of an issue. It might be a little bit tougher to get the consistency of the strikes. You get it slightly heavy, leading sharp edge into the grass, you can very easily just chunk those shots. So again, I would always like to play this with a little bit of bounce, try and be a little bit more sort of using the, the bounce a little bit on this type of shot. Yeah, and again, that came out nice. Just pulled that. Wasn't as good as the one out of the rough, to be honest. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the technology that's happening in this new Glide Forge Pro wedge from Ping. So we've got a really nice sort of satin finish, which does tie in, as I just mentioned, very nicely with those I-59 irons that have launched. Bit of a non-glare look. It's a sleek look at the back. We've just got Glide Forge with a Pro there. We've got some like um, a strip taken out across the back of the uh, head there, which I think then is the way it looks to like it's just moved into that slightly up into the higher up in the club face, basically. So we know what that does and we see it with a lot of other brands it moves that cg a little bit higher in the face we strike below it ball comes out a little bit lower but packs with a little bit more spin it's all about that sort of control so very much a shot makers wedge is what ping are saying very tour inspired on the shaping of the head a little bit more compact from that heel to toe we've got sort of a, a like a slightly rounded leading edge there with no offset at all so it is a very beautiful sort of shape as you put it down by that ball nothing too sort of wacky happening at all Right, okay, so 50 yards out, let's see how we get some control on this uh, 56 degree wedge at this distance. Okay, so now 50 yards out, let's see what sort of control we can get. As I said, this isn't a full um, a full shot for me, it's just a little sort of knocking shot. So this is where, again, I would be looking to try and get as much control. Some situations this green will be sloping away, might be firm, could be downwind. So, you know, as much control as we can on these shots would really help to sort of benefit. And I've got a particular eye here that isn't massively tight. I can't really nip this. It's a little bit of a softer, a um, little bit of fluffier sort of line away. So again, this doesn't always necessarily lend itself to getting maximum sort of spin. right up there yeah and that looked to be stopped pretty quick to be honest as i mentioned we've got some um wet damp lies here today i've rolled the ball around we've got some dampness on the golf ball just put a bit of dampness on this club face there we go look at that bit of grass involved there now you can see we're going to have some difficulty generating some spin aren't we now obviously we're going to be wiping this club face i'm going to do that because that's a little bit unfair isn't it really because you are going to wipe that face before you play but definitely a lot of moisture on this club face so again let's see how this hydro pearl 2.0 works it's definitely popped up a little bit higher there yeah you see that just hasn't quite pulled up as quick but it stops you know i'm very happy with that result it has stopped but definitely not quite as much as it would be if you're completely drying your face, ball's a little bit more dry. Obviously, you can't dry your ball in that mid-round of the fairway. I understand that, but you can obviously dry that club face. That was really a lot of water on there. But again, it popped up a little bit high, which we did see in those original testings with water on the club face. The launch did go a little bit higher. 
So it's not a wedge where you can't start talking about the club face. And again, there's some talking points here. So we've got wheel cut grooves from Ping. The bottom groove is actually a little bit deeper than the other grooves. So typically you're gonna strike that bottom groove first when you're playing those little chip shots. So maximizing that spin as much as possible. We've got a little bit more of a rougher face that we're seeing here from Ping. Again, that Hydro Pearl just to disperse that dampness on those strikes. Ultimately trying to get that much of that grip as we possibly can. So just go back to those wheel cut grooves. They are slightly different. So in the, in the lofts from like 50 to 52 they're a 20 degree uh, groove it must be the sort of angle that they're cutting and then from the 50 uh, i think it's 54 upwards into high lofted it's then 28 degrees so obviously as the, as the angle of the the head bends back a little bit as you increase the loft the angle of the grooves just change again it's all about maximizing those spin on those different lofts so we've got two grind offerings now we've got an s grind which stands for standard uh, sort of sole which has just got that little bit of trail relief on the back so if you're a typical golfer that maybe sort of buying a wedge for the first time or you know you, you're probably going to typically go into this sort of standard sole so the offerings in the s grind as lofts is a 50 all the way through to a 60. so the other offering on the grind is a t grind which is a little bit of a narrower sole a little bit more heel and toe relief a little bit more of that getting that leading edge a little bit tighter to the ground but the, the offering on the t grind is only in a 58 to the 62 loft offerings okay so another little good test here for now for the glide pro wedge Slight downhill lie. I'm only about sort of uh, 20 yards from the pin here, but downhill lie, damp, wet. It's not a fairway lie, it's a bit fluffy. I've got to fly over this ridge and I've not got a great deal of green to work with and it's running away from me. So these are exact scenarios where we'd like to try and get as much grip and control on these golf balls as we can. So I'm going to open this face up. Sits great when you open the face. That lean edge doesn't pop up at all. Oh, and that's come out really soft. And I played that great to be honest. That's come out really, really well. It stopped, it's pretty soft on that landing. Again, I'm happy with that control in those environment of that golf course. So alongside this uh, Pro Wedge is they're offering that I2 toe is what they call it. So basically that high toe version. Very much coming from that shape of the original Ping I2 uh, wedge that was iconic for many, many years, a number of years back. And this is still a request that Ping get a lot from the tour pros, which is one of the reasons why this has gone into the range. So as we know, high toe, more weight up into that toe section, a little bit thicker, pulling that CG up and that slightly more sort of low strike, low launch, a uh, low sort of spinnier shot for the guys who like that little bit of uh, shape of that high toe. Little bit more offset, a little bit more rounded leading edge in that high toe version. Okay, so there we go, Ping Forge uh, Wedge, and it's the pro version from Ping. I think that's a really, really good wedge. It's a great looking wedge. I think, honestly, if I'm going out buying a wedge, I would, first things I'll be looking at is the looks. I'm very particular in the shape of a wedge, how the toe section is shaped, how that leading edge is sat in relation to that hosel. I'm quite fussed with that. So that's the first things I'm looking at. And possibly that is something for you as well in terms of the shape. Then I'm looking at a little bit of feel and control you know off the club face that's probably the second point i'm really looking at then i'm looking into grinds to suit me i'm typically know where i'm at with that and then as much you know the, all this technology yes you know it's saying oh does that make a difference it can be minuscule can't it but do you know what if it's on my slightly on my favor i'll take it if it's there and it's available for those certain situations that we've seen today the dampness the grass between the club face and ball if i can have a five percent increase that spin i'm having that all day long you know why why wouldn't you you know so post comments down below Pink, Glide, Forged, Pro, Wedge. Let me know your thoughts. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Hopefully we're going to do many more videos here from Keswick Golf Club. If you are in the area, come and give it a visit. Have a game of golf. It's a beautiful scenery here, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. And I hope we'll catch up with you all very soon.